Hey guys, Kevin McMullen here. I'm standing in one of my flip houses. Uh, as you can see behind me, the kitchen is almost done. Granite just got put in. And today I wanted to talk to you about finding capital for a flip house. Someone had messaged me on Instagram, so here's your video. Uh, finding money on flip houses isn't as difficult as you might think. Um, it, it, it might seem difficult in the beginning because you don't know as many people and um, you know that's with anything you know it's hard to get started so uh, I'll go into how I started I started with very little money uh, what I did is I found somebody uh, that had equity in their house so you've got to be a little creative you know it's not just going to the bank and asking for a loan um, and I told I asked them if they wanted to partner on a few houses and we'd split the profits 50 50 so that's how I got started I used that money to purchase the house and then I used the little bit of money I had and uh, my line on credit cards to fix the house up. And then we'd sell it, make the profit, and split it. Um, did that for a little while until I built up some money to do it on my own. Um, the downside with that, it's, it's a great way to get started, but it does uh, cost the most because you're giving away half of your profit. So the way I do it now, which I recommend for you, is if you can get a little bit of money saved up, is to find a hard money or private money lender, okay? Uh, private money would be a little better because the terms might be a little bit adjustable. Uh, and generally, you know, you're gonna be around the 30 to 50% you're gonna need to put down of the purchase price. And then, you know, generally you're gonna have to use your own money to fix the house up. Um, but if you have a good amount of credit cards that are paid off, then there you go. You don't you don't really need much cash to uh, fix them up. So generally, what I do is I use my own money down. This way, I can do multiple houses at a time, and uh, I use a private money lender for the good majority of the amount of the purchase price. And then I use uh, my own money to fix the house up. And if I'm running low on money or I have too many projects going at once, then I'll dip into my credit cards and use those. And then right when the flip is done, you get it sold, get your check from the title company, make sure you pay those credit cards off. Don't let them linger and uh, take the money and reinvest it. Uh, that's the, the big thing there is not spending the money you make. Okay. Um, if you want to start growing fast and start banking some money, you're going to have to not spend it. Okay. Remember, Poor people spend, rich people invest, right? So you're gonna to wanna to put that money into your next property and your next property and so on and so forth. If you do take money out, the only thing I recommend is if you have, you know, if you're still trying to get out of bad debt and you have some huge interest rates, just get rid of those because they're, they're gonna sit there forever. They're never gonna go away. And uh, you know, the thing I've learned from not being in uh, so much bad debt anymore is that when you get that money, that 20, 30 grand in, guess what? It's not going anywhere. You get to reuse it and reuse it instead of it going to pay this down or pay that down. So try and get out of your bad debt as quick as you can. Um, and, you know, just get at it, be motivated, stay focused. And in the beginning, you know, you can be willing to work for free essentially because you're not going to make any money until you sell that house. So, you know, just got to be willing to do the grind for nothing. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions, comment below, please share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll try and make some more videos about real estate or just investing or money in general. Um, you know, you gotta get your finances together, guys. You know, I can't stress it enough. I wish I would have started way earlier. Um, but please share, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'll put that information down at the bottom of the video. Or if you want me to go more in depth on this, just, uh, Message me. Let me know, guys. All right? Have a good day.